All right, nobody wants to see this. A stranger trying to break down the door as a homeowner looks out the window. Fox 4 is a hit Arab spoke to that homeowner who says that the video that you just saw is the latest in a string of crimes in his Dallas neighborhood. It's a hit. Well, Heather, thieves are getting brazen in this case. A man was working from home yesterday when suddenly a growing desperate trend showed up at his front door. So they rang the doorbell early Wednesday morning. Just I think they were waiting to see if someone would answer. Andrew Birmingham says a crime of opportunity didn't knock. After they, I guess they thought nobody was home, they decided to kick down the door. It tried kicking down the door. You know, I think he saw me in the window right after, and that's when he jumped in the car and left. Birmingham believes the crooks have been casing his East Dallas neighborhood near 75 and Ross since last week. You know, the police said it was they were trying to do a smash and grab, so they were trying to just, you know, get something real quick in and out. In the last month, a Dallas police crime map shows 11 thefts or burglaries in the area. Yeah, he's a pro at this. Wow. Bernadette Pitts, who lives down the street, is seeing the video for the first time. He's literally stretching and doing warm ups. Like he's he's stretching. He's getting ready like I used to do in track. She says it's a surprise how brazen bad guys are getting. Normally people are gone to work, so they know that. While we're away, <laughs> they're doing their job, which is um, breaking into homes. Experts say 34% of the time they do that through the front door. On these locks, Sam Mosley from Custom Security Doors says adding door jams or an extra security door will make your home a less desirable target. And psychologically, when they see these, they act defeated and they go to some other place. They want easy access. Oh, when I hear a loud sound like that, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to definitely be on high alert, look out, call the police. With the neighborhood on watch. Glad it held up. Birmingham hopes opportunistic criminals don't knock twice. I think uh, it doesn't hurt to make it more secure. Now the crook in the video still has not been caught. Police say this smash and grab trend typically involves thieves breaking in, stealing what they can as quickly as possible, then selling what they stole in pawn shops. In many cases like this one, someone is often waiting nearby in a getaway car. Heather? Right, like we saw in, in the video, there's a hit. You, you know, I think a lot of times when things like this happen, the, the homeowner, the person, they, they feel violated. So did he talk about why he didn't want folks to see this and post it on, and posted it online? Yeah, he did. You know, he says it was not only important for his neighbors, but everyone to know that this is happening. Neighbors say they're glad he did it because they had no idea people like that were lurking around their homes. They hope this leads to more police patrols and the creation of a neighborhood watch group that will make sure anyone that doesn't belong here will be watched closely. Heather. All right. Yeah, and this guy's certainly being watched closely the way he's stretching and preparing to do what he was not able to do. All right, Zahid, thank you.